And welcome to another Coffee with Column. and thanks very much for tuning in. If this is your first time joining me for Coffee with Column, well, the objective behind this series of Coffees with Column is where I take snippets from my book, Feeding Johnny How to Build a Business Despite the Roadblocks, and uh, explore the snippet on a weekly basis, explore a different snippet on a weekly basis, explore the lessons contained therein, and share them out on the World Wide Web, so that uh, perhaps by me doing so, it'll afford you a shortcut where back in the day I had none myself. And we do so over a cup of coffee for five minutes or so on a weekly basis. If you enjoy what you hear and you think somebody else would benefit, share the link on with others. If you, uh, it's your first time joining us and you would like more of this type of stuff, pop to our homepage, colinoverinemotivation.com. Leave us your details and we'll send you something like this on a weekly basis. So sit back and relax and enjoy. Okay, this week I want to talk to you about a snippet in my book called Dancing on Ice. And that refers to a gentleman by the name of Wayne Gretzky, a Hall of Famer ice hockey player from Canada. Now, you don't become a Hall of Famer in anything unless you're top of your game. So Wayne Gretzky was and is a Hall of Famer ice hockey player because back in the day he was top of his game. And he was asked, how did you become a Hall of Famer? And he said, I skate to where the puck is going to be not to where it has been. Interesting. I skate to where the puck is going to be, not to where it has been. Now, what does that mean? Well, in essence, if I'm a rookie, I've never played ice hockey in my life, but I can imagine if I got on a nice hockey field or pitch or whatever it's called, <laughs> and uh, I, I imagine as a rookie, I would chase the puck all around the place and I'd expend a huge amount of energy and not be very effective. Gretzky, on the other hand, would watch my form. He'd realize that every time O'Brien gets the puck, he skites it off to the right. So Gretzky would, in fact, simply skate over and wait for me to do my thing, and he'd take the puck from me and probably go and score. Now, what's that got to do with business? Well, it's challenging you and I to ask ourselves, where is the puck going to be in terms of the business that we're in today or in terms of the marketplace? Where is the puck going to be in three, four, five, 10, 15, 20 years from now. And it's challenging us to position ourselves to take advantage of the market when it gets there. In other words, to skate to where the puck is going to be, not where it has been. If we learn how to do that, we can take advantage of the puck when it gets to us and we don't waste all that time chasing it in the meantime. The second Gretzkyism that I love is Wayne Gretzky said, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Now, that's one of those fairly obvious ones. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Of course, that's the case. But it's sometimes often only obvious after somebody says it or if you read it in a book. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So let's say you decide, you've got this idea rattling around your head about a new product you want to bring to the market, to your business, or a new business idea you want to do, or a girl you want to date or a fella you want to date or a, a, play, a part you want to get in a play or whatever, whatever is going on in your life at this moment in time. Let's say you decide that you want something, but you don't take a shot. Let's say you don't ask that girl out or you don't apply for that job or you don't start your business or you don't uh, bring that product to market. What's going to happen? Nothing. The answer is nothing. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Now, what if you decide to ask her out, apply for that job, audition for that part, start that business, bring the new product to market? What's likely to happen? One of two things. It'll either work or it won't work. <laughs> It'll either work or it won't work. You'll either score or you won't score. But you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So the question really that you and I need to ask ourselves is, where is the puck going to be in 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now in terms of uh, our lives and the business that we're in or the business that we'd like to be in or where is the market going to be so we can position ourselves to take advantage? And the next question we need to ask ourselves is, are we going to take a shot? Because now we know that you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. What shots are you going to take next week? And thank you for joining me for this week's Coffee with Column. If you think somebody else would benefit, well, please share the link with others. If it's your first time joining us, you'd like more of this type of stuff, go to columnofbrianmotivation.com and we'll send you a link on a weekly basis. Um, what I'd ask you to do is you consider what's been shared here and apply it into your thinking for the next week or so. And then most importantly, please come back next week and let's have another coffee together and see where it leads. 
I love my coffee. Have a great week. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.